Thank you for tuning in. To stay in touch with us, get your questions answered, and connect with the community, join our Discord channel. Link is in the video description. Speak soon. Hi everyone, this is Calvin from the Crypto.com chain team. In this video, I will demonstrate to you how you can use your existing full node uh, to participate as a validator on our Crypto.com chain cross the testnet. So let's get started. Before we begin, uh, we want to make sure you have already set up a full node that is fully synced with the cross the testnet. If you haven't done so, please go to our documentation site on chain.crypto.com slash docs and follow the instruction to set up a node. After you have done so, you can um, create a, a new key and address uh, for the validator. So you can run the command chain D. For this default, it's just a name uh, of your choice to identify the key. So it could be any name to identify the key. Okay. So here I'm, I'm naming it as any name to identify the key. Depending on your operating system, uh, if you're using Mac OS, the key will be stored on keychain. So here you can see after I put um, the passphrase, it will gener generate me an address uh, together with this pop key. And also it will give you a mnemonic phase. Make sure you have backup the mnemonic phrase in a safe place so that uh, later you can recover your account. Like if you um, like forgot your password or you are like moving to a new machines. Next thing, you want to obtain some test token uh, for the validator. You can either go to the CRO file kit, uh, but there's a daily limit and you can't get much on a daily basis. Or you can also go to the Gitter communication channel. Uh, you can ask uh, Leslie or Devarshish to send you with uh, more funds. For my use case, I've already created an account late earlier and I've asked them to send me some funds so that um, I could uh, continue. The next thing you want to do is uh, after you get the funds is to um, show uh, get the validator proper key. Um, this will be the key of your current uh, running node and you can do so uh, at get it like by running this command. So as you can see like um, the address will start with uh, this prefix. After that you want to ensure your node is uh, running fine. So what you could do is um, for my example, I'm running it using a system control. So I'll use I'll go to the general control log. Uh, look for chain main D and see if it's uh, still synchronizing. So this is the block uh, I, I just synchronized. So then I will um, query one of our public full nodes and see what's the nascent block height. So as you can see, like it's a very similar, just two blocks away. So it would mean like my node is already synced. It. So after I have verified this one, the next thing is I could uh, create a validator. So this command is to construct a transaction under the sticking module. Uh, the transaction call like create a message is called create validator. And you have to specify where you're sending from, how much of a man is that you need to deposit uh, at delegation, uh, what's the public key. Uh, this, this is the validator public key which is retrieved earlier. Also, uh, you have to put a moniker which is the name of your node. Uh, a security contact is a contact method. It can be an email or whatever you find comfortable with. But in case someone finds security issues on your node, they can contact you uh, using this address, uh, this method. Next, also like you have to put the chain ID of our testnet. And this is the commission rate setup, as well as like the minimal self delegation setup. So here, I've already create, um, prepared the, the command in advance. Also, it would like if you like get the funds from uh, Leslie or from the Falcon, you can also query the bank balance uh, balance of your address by using this command. So here, I'll also demonstrate to you. So 
it's like this with the address at the end of it. If I run this one, you'll see I already get some funds from uh, Leslie before. Then I could run this command. One thing I add on top of this one is I specify the gas price so that um, uh, if you didn't specify the gas price, uh, in some occasion you will not be able to pa uh, pass through because um, many of our nodes have has now uh, set up the minimum gas price. So you also have to set it up so that to make sure you, um, your transaction will carry some fees. And it will ask you for the pass rates. And here it will ask you to confirm your transaction. Uh, yes. And let's wait. All right. As you can see, uh, my transaction has already go through. It has the block height. Uh, and the message is over here with some information inside. So right now, I am already like uh, become a part of the validator. So to verify the whole stuff, first of all, I could um, query the current validator set here. As you can see, it's a very huge set. Even uh, like let me format it a bit. You can see that's a real huge list. So that's why we also suggest you to do a grab. Um, to check, sorry, to check for the address. Yeah, so you can see it's here, so it means like it's a one, like uh, you are like the part of the validator. Another thing we recommend would be to uh, use our script to check with your validator is uh, signing the blocks. Okay. All right, the script is here. It's a shell script, so it should work on uh, any systems. Okay. Name it as a check wallet later on the shell script. Okay. Make sure you have make it as executable. All right. As you can see, it will, uh, with my uh, note is already signing, it will tell me that it's in the active validator set under this address, as well as telling me I'm already start signing at, at least at this uh, particular block number. So here, it um, appears that my note is already um, well set up, it's already um, synchronizing, and it's already signing blocks as well. So that's a good sign. So up to this point, uh, I have already set up my full node and joined it as a validator and it's already signing blocks and uh, as well as uh, uh, producing blocks as well. So let me recap what I have done so far. So first of all, uh, assume you have already set up a full node. Uh, so the next thing you have to do is to create an address. Then you will obtain some testnet token on this address. Afterwards, you will retrieve your um, uh, full node uh, validator public key. And finally, you will use all this information you have got in, um, to uh, send a transaction in which uh, to create as a create validator and make uh, your full node to join the network as a validator with some initial deposit. And finally, you can verify whether the node is working fine by either using the validator set and uh, using this uh, short, uh, shell script uh, to query whether you are signing. So I hope like after this video, you will uh, get a sense of how you can set up a validator. And I hope you will also join and, and become part of our validators very soon. Thank you for tuning in. To stay in touch with us, get your questions answered and connect with the community. Join our Discord channel. Link is in the video description. Speak soon.